M0 FXB Ham Radio Diary. M0 FXB. So I've had a message about how do we make our All Star node also become like an Echolink uh, node or connection. So I'm going to, been looking around, I'm going to go through some of the settings. So the first thing you've got to do is, and I'll put a link in the description, is download the program called Win. SCP, and then we're gonna go in and talk to our basically our Raspberry Pi, and uh, and see if we can add the settings to make our already configured All Star node. And I use the G the G7 RPG Type One with the with the uh, AAAS into a Echolink node. Go to the root directory, get this microphone a bit higher, go to the root directory and then double click the top file and look for asterisk so go to, we're finding asterisk, so go to etc then look for asterisk. It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. And then we're looking for echo link. And so here it is, echo link x x x. So rename that. So right right click and click rename, and just leave the word echo link and the dot and just put dot then c o n f. Okay, it's further down now. Once you've done that, then double click it. And you've got this, this new window here. We've uh, double clicked and open echolink.com and then we get this window. And look, if you look here at the top, it's quite small, but you can see it says your core. So here, in your call, just delete it, the word call, and in caps put M0FXB, and I would put dash L, and I think you're going to have to register that with Echo Link. Uh, I've already got, uh, or validate, I've already got M0FXB validated, but I think w when you want a link, you, you have to revalidate that as well, but we'll see. And then I, to get find your uh, password, that you've got for Echo Link, just go in, just open up Echo Link on your computer and go into Tools, uh, then Setup, and then you'll find your password. Hover it, click on the question mark. So I know what my password is, so I'll put that in. Okay, done that. So QTH, my name, or I could put my name in there. N G R E A. Actually, we'll put it in caps just to make sure there's no problems. Andreas Q T H. So I'll put South West U K. Email. Don't really think I need to put that, do I? Um, echo link node number. Right, I'm just going to make sure I put that in the right place. And then your all star node number. I'm going to do that. I just want to make sure I change the right bit. I'm just going to check. Yeah, so what you do where it says node, just delete it right back to in front of the equal. And then I'm going to put in my node, my all, my echo link node number. Now, this is it's possible this number will change because if I apply for M0FXB-L that I put at the top there, it might assign a new number and I'll have to come back in here and change it. But I'm just going to put what I've got for now. So 936, um, 957 is my echo link number. And then my there's another one further down for all star node here. So I just put in my, I've got my all-star node. 
go all the way back to equals and I'm going to put in uh, 5, 3, 9, 0, 1, 0. So as we go down, I don't think I'm going to mess with anything else. This is to do with server. Well, I'm not really going to mess with that. Uh, so I think I've got everything in there that I know for now. Remember, I, I'm learning. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'll keep learning until um, it starts to work, and then I'll do a demonstration on it working. So I've changed everything I, can, I know about. Uh, so we'll save that, and the next thing we do is go to putty. So we'll save that. And I've what it is, I wouldn't, I'm not changing G7RPG's node. I, I don't want to mess with that. I leave that original. I've built a homemade node, and that's the one I use to experiment with. So I'll just close that window for now. Uh, and then we're going to go to what settings are required for putty. Right, we're in putty. We're going to log into that in the usual way with our IP address. If you can't find it, go to do an IP scan but it's the same IP address that you would use for your all-star node. Um, got to remember what this one is, actually. Okay, so we're in putty. We've put in our IP address and our port number. We click OK. We get this, and then just log in with your, u your usual all-star password. Okay, and you get to this window. Go down to restart asterisk. If you can find it. Uh, which is number 13, and then click run. And click, yes. So it's, re it's rebooting that. Right, once you've done that, go to links, go back to Echo Link page here, secure.echolink.org. Click link status. Now, I haven't got the L registered yet, which is a shame, because you have to have an L or an R registered. So I'd like to see my call sign in the list here, but it won't show up. I've rebooted it, but it won't show up um, until I've until I've done that. So that's as far as I can go with it today. When I g I'll post this video for now. Once I get to the next stage, I'll post another video and then I'll eventually I'll, I'll post all the videos together. So for now, 7-3. Right, so this is sort of part two of my All Star and Echo Link. Uh, basically, I'm trying to make uh, my All Star also be an echo link connection so i can be using my all-star node box and that gets me into the echo link system and people can connect to me so i'm literally learning so part two is just opening the ports for my router so i've got a sky a sky hub so i've logged in 192.168.0.1 which is that so what we're going to do we're going to hit um, security then we're going to hit services and then we're going to add a service so we're going to add the first one we're going to add like so we're going to call it echo link um, we might as well call it uh, I don't know UDP yeah um, so should we call it we could give it the name of the actual server for five one nine eight is the it, oh it's not i'll put the last two digits nine eight okay and it's this is a udp and start and finish ports are going to be five one five one nine eight we'll just put them and five and we'll do the same again five one nine eight that'll do we'll go apply uh we're not probably not allowed to have letters in here so let's 
come up with an error. So let's just go echo link like that. Just click apply. What have I done wrong? Still, maybe I've done something wrong. Service name. Have I done too many spaces? Let's try again. Apply. Right, done it. So there's one in. Then we're going to add another one. 5199. And that's also UDP. So echo link. I don't know. We'll call it two. And it's UDP. And then we're going to put in start as 5199. Nine nine. Now, I might have been able to put it in the other one as start and finish, but we're just going to do it this way to be sure. 5199. Nine. We're going to apply. Right, and then add one more, which is um, TCP. So, echo link, we'll call it echo link three. We'll call it TCP, and it's this one is 5200. Zero zero. 0, 0, apply. Now, uh, what have I done wrong? Um, I'll probably echo link 3. Let's apply that. Okay, so that's all applied. Uh, now, the, these ports, are they're not added for using echo link in the ordinary way. This is to add echo link to my all-star node. So, this is just part 2 of a video. So, 7.3, hope this helps. M0FXB, part three of the uh, All Star and Echo Link. So, to use Echo Link and All Star, Echo Link on an All Star node, you need a call sign that's like mine will be M0FXB L. So, I'm here at the Echo Link uh, page. Now, if, you go, if I go to validate it, call sign validation, Right, um, quick validation here. Now, if I put my call sign in here, M0FXB, it comes up great, and with my node number and everything that I can look up in my F settings. But that's call sign's no good. I need M0FXB dash L. So, what I'm going to do is go back, click call sign validation. Um, let's just go back again. I'm going to click, change my call sign. Now, I hope I'm doing this right. M, because, you know, I'd like to keep both, but I don't think you can. So M0FXB, and I know my password. All right, and then I want the new one, M0FXB-L. Now, apparently you have to validate every call, every, every call sign, even if it's a slight change like that. So I'm going to go R, O, and All right, so I'm going to go click change call sign. And it says not registered. So I'm hoping that that's going to send an email. So I'm not really sure. Anyway, 7-3 for now, and then we'll have a, have a look, see what I'm getting up to. M0FXB, welcome again. We've been talking about this Echolink connection via the All-Star node box. So finally, we have a connection. I'll just have it, let you have a quick listen. This is Echolink node number 973498. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've had one in the past so once you've um, configured everything in, as per my prior videos um, just to connect just remember like for example the node number here is it on hubnet is a one two three four five six digits now but what, what you need is one two three four five six seven digits so what you've got to do you've got to go star three three then three then the night the sorry star three three then the nine seven three four nine eight so in total you're gonna have eight nine nine digits you're gonna have so let's do it again so it'll be three star three three then 
nine seven three four nine eight and so put that into your dtmf on your on your radio um your and then what you'll do your all star box will then connect you to echo link and you'll get a different you get a different message telling you that you're an echo link um you won't get the usual all star message so uh and then that that's uh, that now allows you to use your radio and your all star box to get you into the whole echo link system so hope this helps i know it's a bit dark here i'm working late into the night it's quite noisy here but that should sort us out i'm going to put all these videos from the beginning of the setup to the, the the final part where it's actually working. We put them all into one video and then you, then you can watch it all back. Seven three, all the best.